Okay. Well, hello everybody. Um, today we're going to be um, watching the school cycle beginning, and it's in the city of Mexico in Melchor Ocampo School. And uh, it's a big deal because um, the president's going to be there, and he's going to talk to them about what they're getting now. What now school's free, books are free, and uh, the parents are going to be getting some money. And anyway, it's going to be really um, a good uh, change for the students. They're going to be getting, every student will be getting a grant so that they will all be able to buy uniforms, books, paper, pencils, lunch boxes, eat every day. Uh, that's a big one. <laughs> But anyway, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start uh, the video. And uh, that's uh, regarding the, this is the beginning of the uh, school year. So they're playing music. And there comes the press and his entourage. So some of the, actually it's not his entourage because he doesn't really have an entourage, but it's his wife. And I guess like the principal and other educators um, that are there. Buenos días, sean todos y todas bienvenidos. So they're welcoming everyone to the civic uh, a ceremony of the uh, beginning of the school cycle, and they're inviting the present one to give the demonstrations of respect. So this is the uh, what they do there. So, so I guess they they salute the flag. Oh, okay, it's the flag salute. All right. Well, as you can see, they all have uniforms. Nice new shoes. Wow, it's big to do. Now they're going to sing the national hymn, which I do not know. I probably should get it in writing. And the president uh, doesn't always sing it, but apparently today he's doing it. I think because it's a school thing. And he's never said why he doesn't um, always sing it. Sometimes he just doesn't. Okay, 
so it's beautiful. I don't I don't want to uh, go ahead on this part. But I'm going to skip through later. Yeah. It's kind of cool to see what other countries, including you know, the one that's our neighbor, which is my actual homeland, <laughs> um, what they do in the school year. So this is the hymn for technical schools, which I guess is a different one. So it's like their school song. That's almost like either middle school or high school. Secundaria. So they're saying that they're going to learn, be strong, get technical education so for the betterment of Mexico. Mexico, Mexico. Okay. So I think I better just let it play. El presidente constitucional de los Estados Unidos Mexicanos, licenciado Andrés Manuel López Obrador. So they, they're saying this is our president. Manuel López Obrador. Le acompañan la He's alumna Gladys Danae Medrano Negrete. Gladys is a student. El alumno Ángel Hernán Díaz de la Cruz. And the student um, Ángel Hernán de la Cruz. La jefa de gobierno de la Ciudad de México. Oh gosh, I hope you guys heard me well. I think she's the chief educator. El secretario de Educación Pública. The secretary of... Uh, Public Education, Mr. Barragan. El titular de la Autoridad Educativa Federal en la Ciudad de México, Luis Humberto Fernández Fuentes. Uh, I don't know where this mic should be. Probably here. La directora de la Escuela okay. Secundaria Técnica número 63, Melchor Campo, Yajaira Camiochip Sanabria. Yahaira. 
One of the chief educators. La madre de familia, Genoveva Torres Lara. She's a mother. So I guess they're doing a parent teacher um, thing, you know, where parents have familia, to be involved. Carlos Medrano Arguello. And this is a father. So the, um, this is a father right there. The um, parents and teachers Saludamos have to be involved in order to, uh, co to control the budget. So they're saying hello to everybody, media, and all the technical people that are there to help them today. Tiene la palabra la directora de la Escuela Secundaria Técnica número 63, And she's this, the, Campo, they're going to let Mecholo Campo, the, the uh, director of the school. Buenos días. So she's saying hello. De la de la Campo, I hope you guys can hear. I'm giving you a cuya finalidad es el logro eficaz de aprendizajes significativos de los jóvenes estudiantes a través del desarrollo integral, intelectual, físico, moral, estético so, y cívico. She's saying Hoy, they're educating the children damos with this, al ciclo escolar they're giving the initiation to the cycle. And they're being honored with the distinguished presence of the president. Yeah. And he, she's thanking him for accompanying. Agradeciendo esta intervención. Escucharemos el mensaje y la declaratoria de inicio del ciclo escolar 2019-2020 a cargo del licenciado Andrés Manuel López Obrador, presidente constitucional de los Estados Unidos Mexicanos. So now the president's going to speak. Antes de declarar, Before I declare este nuevo ciclo escolar, this new school cycle, que escuchemos I want you to listen to, to the chief of government of the city of Mexico, que Claudia, Sheinbaum Claudia Sheinbaum will give us a message. Bueno, y antes And before, decirles, I want to tell you, días. hello, everyone. <laughs> I am very happy to be here with you. And now we'll listen to Claudia. Very good day. It makes me very happy to be here with you today. President and Secretary of Education, Director, parents. I'm very happy to be with you, and I'm very proud to be here. Today, on the day that the schools open up on the school cycle of the 2019 to 2020, and the president will permit me, I will say that here in the city, we've accompanied the programs, we've established diverse um, programs to uh, support education. So now this year they gave them uh, double what they needed for, they get, so they get money for their uniforms, so it was double what they were getting last year. So it's a, they started a program called Bettering the School, so where parents and teachers Uh, help to better the schools. And as of September of this year, they're going to inaugurate a new grant here in the city for all schools from primary and secondary school. It's my grant to begin. And before there used to be a grant that was, uh, some used to get it. 
but and they would decided that that was a grant that needed to promote well the previous grant promoted inequality so now they've assumed a lot of new programs now so also the students will get an additional 330 dollar pesos for uh, education additionally for their I guess their uniforms and remember that the education is the best formation or formative thing that you can have in your life and thank you thank you all and have a great uh, school cycle so in effect we are very happy to be with you boys and girls that, you, uh, that study at this school, technical school, in the city of Mexico. I also want to uh, show my gratitude for the work that the teachers and the uh, the teachers of Mexico, uh, teachers of groups, directors, those in charge of supervision in the different regions, uh, school regions of the country, and all the public servants of the Secretary of Education. In a very special way, I want to thank the support that I have gotten as the, this government started from the Secretary of Public Education, Esteban Montezuma, Secretary of Public Education. As it is, natural and obvious, our government is giving priority to education. We are supporting education very much as it's been uh, uh, discussed in the uh, press conference that we celebrate every morning. We talk about how this year we're going to be giving about 10 million grants for students from every uh, level of uh, school, primary, uh, middle school, um, which I guess is kind of like a high school and middle school and all that. So those, even those that go into masters and doctors, doctorates for uh, grants for Conacyt, this is an investment. It's not an expense. It's in to the order of 60,000 million pesos to improve to encourage education. I say, I point out that in the matter of um, basic school education, besides the grants that the, that the grants are be, they're giving by them, we're also additionally, we're also counting with a support of that are you're getting gonna get from uh, state grants, like in the state of Mexico, which is what the chief of government had just discussed. So, like the grant that they mentioned for 300 pesos, that's for uh, basic level education, which corresponds to those who uh, study second uh, grade or I guess it's like middle school. 
or high school. So in the case of middle uh, superior, which used to be preparatory or technical schools, bachelors, in the whole country, around 4 million students are getting a grant of 1,600 pesos by menstrual, and it's universal. This is the first time it's ever been done, that all the students of middle uh, superior uh, level get grants. Why? Why in this level of school uh, are we giving this grant universally? It's for everyone. Because at this level of school is the one where usually there's more desertion of schools, of education. They mostly abandon school. Well, the students do. And it, co it coincides with the age of ad adolescence. And it's a, a more complicated and difficult time of life or phase. And it is necessary to maintain the adolescents, to maintain them in, encourage them to study, and for them not to have a lack of support to stay in school, that they not abandon school, so that they don't take a road of antisocial conduct. That's why in this level of school, we give it to everyone, all the students. And then also, for those that study in the university, so when it goes to the higher level education, they give it to the, there's 300,000 grants of 2,400 a month, uh, which is, for those with the um, low-income families, we'll get that. So it's around 10 million in grants, and and that's why they invest 60 million, thousand million pesos. And this year we're also going to initiate, and we have already started in the city of Mexico, Claudia Schemba, chief of government. We're going to begin a program to give maintenance to the schools because the school was remodeled and it's the school was, I wish the way this school was remodeled I wish all the schools in the country would be like this but unfortunately it's not this way there's lots of schools in bad or state of disrepair especially the schools that were affected by the earthquakes that have not finished being rehabilitated. We still don't have the new schools and still the children are taking class in, in Oaxaca, in Chiapas, and in Puebla, in Morelos, in places that are are improvised, and we're working towards bettering the schools, and that they establish a program so that in every school, public school, they constitute a committee. Perhaps you've already uh, got, surely got one here, a committee of parents, students, I'm sorry, teachers, yeah, and students, because we want this committee to be uh, integrate parents, teachers, um, and students, a committee in every school. And this committee of parents of the family um, will get assigned a budget annually for the maintenance of the school. This is the plan that we have. We don't want to pass the budget 
towards government uh, uh, agencies till it gets to the school because then sometimes it doesn't ever get there that support or it doesn't get there complete and we want for it to go directly from the treasury of the federal government the check directly to the committee and that the a school assembly of the parents and teachers and they decide how to utilize that budget so that they can uh, paint or fix a hydraulics or bathrooms electrical uh, problems anything that's required that is the plan that we are initiating to give the money directly the support to, to each school of the country because in democracy the government belongs to the people for the people and with the people it is not a matter of one man or one woman or, or it's not a matter just for the chief of government or the president or the public servants this is a matter that belongs to all of us we all have to help to take our country our beautiful Mexico out of this backwardness and to have progress with justice and education is fundamental and that's why it makes me very happy to be here in this new cycle and to appreciate I repeat sincerely to the teachers of Mexico with a commitment that never again will they be offended as they were in the uh, past and or past few years we are always going to respect our teachers our educators never will we forget that the what little we know we learned from our teachers and here you all students of this school technical school and to all the students of Mexico I desire that this school year it go very well for you that you establish relationships of friendship with other children, boys and girls, oh, especially those that are just coming in, the new, new starters. This is their first year. That they get along very well with other children. And that the ones that are in the second and third years that have already been in the school that they need to treat and orient the new ones and love them very much for the new new uh, persons so that it won't take them so long to become adapted and to stay in this community or to be in this student community and that they have a very good time and that they come to school to learn but also to enjoy to enjoy being here in the, and um, this center of um, happiness. And thank you all and to all the teachers and, and may education live and may uh, teaching live and that the students may live to live the students long live Mexico long live Mexico long live Mexico oh that's awesome wow that was cool
that's the end. <laughs>